Hey, welcome back to After the Episode, brought to you by Line Cutters, the adjustable ring that cuts fish in line. Teresa, 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 what are you doing? We're supposed to be filming after the episode. Uh, you fished me out. What? I can't do it no more. You're a professional fisherman. Nah, obviously I'm not too professional. I need a nap. Come on, these people want the after the episode. Let's get it rolling. I'm old. Get up, you're not old. I need Hey everybody, welcome back to after the episode. I guess I'm not going to get Teresa off of that couch. We did a lot of early morning beach fishing today, but uh, she's wiped out. But hey, I think we can handle this. I caught all the fish anyway that day, right? <laughs> yeah, this is one day where I outfished Teresa and I'm proud of it. Anyway, got us pulling up here to the, to the Big Lagoon State Park. If y'all ever want to come to Pensacola and camp, there's two great places. Fort Pickens State Park, where we had the 30 mile camp out. And the other great place is Big Lagoon State Park, which we're fishing Big Lagoon in this episode. We're fishing the Johnson Beach side, but there's a nice campground on the north side called Big Lagoon State Park. Just something to keep in mind if you want to come down here. Now, I've been dying to get hold of some paddle boards, and, and the good people at Mariner Sales let us use these L2s, the, the Utility and the Fish, the L2 Fish. The L2 Fish is the white one I'm on, and the Utility is the green one Teresa's on. Now this big white one is a super stable platform. The utility is much smaller, but it's lighter. I love it because I can car top it on top of the element by myself, no problem. So Teresa's in the utility today and I'm in the L2 Fish. Now I immediately start throwing my Spook Junior with the pink head and the white body and I'm seeing fish popping. The current is going out. This, this spot is very close to the pass in Pensacola. So there's a lot of current moving and it's just kind of like a little troll motor, you just kind of glide along. I got my sand anchor if I need to stop, which I do love because I don't have to carry weight with me. I can just put sand in it when I get there. But I'm throwing my pop, 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 poof, blow up. Little Jack, loved it. Pop, 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 poof, throw up. You saw the bluefish jumping. Pop, 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 poof, speckled trout. It's one thing I love about Florida is uh, we used to fish in Texas and Louisiana, you know, and, and I know I'm going to catch a lot of trout and reds, but here we're catching trout and reds, but we never know what else is out there. It may be black tips, it may be bull sharks, it may be small jacks, it may be giant 30 pound jacks, it may be bull reds. It's just, we kind of never know, which is always interesting. Teresa was throwing and throwing, got some blow ups, never hung up, but I was standing up on this L2 that I absolutely love. This thing, the L2 fish weighs about 50 pounds, 51 or something like that. I can carry it, it's just kind of bulky, but I can carry it like a suitcase and I can carry it 40, 50, 60, 70 yards, no problem. But it's a lot easier with two people with that one. Now the little utility, the green one, all day long. In fact, utility, L2 in this arm, cooler rod and paddle this arm, one trip down the beach, I jump in and I'm gone. So just a little background on those boards. Um, I was walking the dog. I was brought, brought a spinning rod, no bait caster, because if I have trouble with it, I only bring one rod on those paddle boards. And if I have trouble with my bait caster backlash or something, I have to go all the way back to the car. So I like to bring a good spinning rod. Make sure I bring a freshly spooled, good spinning rod. I was walking that pink and white skitter walk. I saw some bait spraying. And all of a sudden, I see a wake coming behind it. And the general rule of thumb, when a big fish is coming after your plug, you don't want to slow it down. If anything, you want to speed it up to look like, because they're used to chasing fish. And when, of course, when you chase something, it speeds up. So they're used to it speeding up. So you want to pick up the speed a little bit. It kind of kicks them into gear like a lion chasing a gazelle, right? This time I sped it up, I sped it up, I sped it up. Something told me just to stop it. So I chased it, pulled it from it, pulled it from it, and I just stopped it. And when I stopped it, boom, something sucked in it. Man, it was game on. Now this fish pulled me and pulled me and pulled me. Um, I had my sand anchor with me. And I learned a cool on accident, total accident, double duty for my sand anchor, my, my sand anchor. And I just grabbed it from the bottom and I dumped my sand out and I just threw it. And when I threw it, it opened up like a two and a half gallon, three gallon bucket. And it grabbed and it kind of slowed that bull red down from pulling me, you know, out into the intercoastal where there was some boat traffic. Not real bad, but 
I slowed him down some with that. And eventually Teresa hooked up with me, which slowed him down again. But it was neat to know that that sand anchor has double duty. Actually, triple duty. A lot of times I put stuff in it, random stuff to carry back to the car. So I'm happy with the sand anchor. I don't have to carry a three-pound metal anchor on a fiberglass boat, which can ding stuff, and you also have to carry that weight. I just carry my little bag that's balled up this big, and when I get to the beach, I decide how much weight I want to put in it. It's a little bit of wind, I'll put two pounds of sand in it. A lot of wind, I'll put five pounds of sand in it. Throw it on the back. When it comes time to go home, I dump it out, ball it up, a little light thing again, put it in my cooler, and I walk back to the car. Just always trying to minimize people. I'm always just trying to make it simpler and simpler and simpler so I can fish more and more and more. The redfish sucks it in, right? I'm on the sleigh ride, I'm on the sleigh ride, I'm fighting him, I'm fighting him. We don't know what it is. I don't know if it's an oversized jacket, I don't know if it's a black tip shark, I don't know if it's a bull red. Haven't seen anything. After about five or ten minutes, saw the back come up. Sure enough, bull red. We got him in. Teresa actually, I held him with the fish grip and Teresa actually kind of sculled along with one hand pulling us both towards shore. She wore out. I really appreciate her doing that. She got us back to the beach and we were able to get out and take some photos and hold him and kind of baby him and, uh, and release him. What amazing experience. Now all I had on that paddle board that day was my tiny cooler, which I think I've got right here. Here it is, my little angle. This little right here. And I really like this is the smallest one they make. I think it's called 13 quart. It's like 13, it's not even the 19, which most people use. And I, I stuck some conceal, some, some odd pieces of conceal I have for a little bit of padding to sit on. And I put everything for a day's fishing. If it's not in here, I don't get to use it. Line cutters, you know. Um, I started, I got a new little small PFD, which I'm liking, it's very minimal. I put my glasses in there the night before. You know, so I don't forget them. I wake and I forget stuff at five in the morning. You know, I, I always keep one bottle of water in here and a cliff bar or something for energy. And that's it. And then I have a little box of tackle, a little Tupperware tub of my favorite lures. A few jigs, a few suspensions, a few top waters, and some like DOA shrimp. And it's just in a little Tupperware dish. And that's it. What I was going to say about the water. Um, why do I only bring one bottle of water and one snack? Because I know for a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, once it gets hot, I'm done. Once it gets to be 10 o'clock, I'm out. And on the way, I drink around a half a gallon of water, sometimes more, and I eat, uh, I eat something in the morning to sustain me, some oatmeal or steel cut oats, fruit. I pee the whole time I'm out there because I done drank a half a gallon, three gallons of water, and I usually don't get to my bottle of water. I usually get back in the truck and I get back on the water again. I'm so busy fishing from six, seven, eight, nine. I feel like those four hours, I'm just fishing, 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 fishing. If I were to fish too far and I needed some water and something needed to get me back, I've got just enough. Um, but other than that, I gorge before I go. I drink like crazy before I go. And then when I get back in the truck, I got ice water waiting on me from my bison cup. And then I drink, I have an, another gallon of water. I keep adding to that and I drink all the way back home. This bull red was an amazing catch. It's the biggest bull, one of the biggest bulls I've caught period in my life. I don't care if you're surf casting with live bait on bottom. It's one of the biggest bull reds I've caught. I'm using the McCain um, red spin, which we always use. It was just kind of a trout rod and you know, a light setup. You know, I was using a, I think a, a pin conflict 3000 with my 15 pound braid with my ties quick connects, you know, kind of my surgeon loop, the ugly old surgeon loop, and a 25 pound leader. Now I saw a lot of fish busting and it looked like there was some big stuff. So I quickly took off my 14 pound leader, cut it off and I put on a 25 pound mono leader. I keep two little things, spools this big of mono on my box. That's all I use. That's pretty much it people. It was an epic day. I had a blast doing it. Um, Teresa, she's racked out on the couch, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching after the episode with me today, Ty. I'll get Teresa back in on the next one. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see y'all next time right here on After the Episode. What?